uh, kind of test, heuristic evaluation. Next, we'll go for the cognitive walkthrough. So as the, uh, what we can say, uh, walkthrough, as the word suggests, is actually the walkthrough of your software. So let us go to the second one, that is cognitive walkthrough. So what exactly it's saying? The description is saying that review of the interface in the context of the task the user performs. Now here, from the user's point of view, the testing will be done. The how the users will behave to the system, how the users will behave with the application or the product. So from the context of task, user performs from that view, we are going to do this testing. So what are the advantages? Allow a clear evaluation of the task flow early in the design process. Do not require a functioning prototype. Low cost can be used to evaluate alternate solution can be performed by the developer. More structured than the heuristic evaluation useful for assessing. OK, just remember this. Don't go into a lot of this. TDS to perform may miss inconsistency and general and recurring problems. Guidelines needed to conduct the walkthrough are a general description of the proposed system user, what really and what relevant knowledge they possess, a specific description. OK, so this generally the cognitive walkthrough. I'll just show you the ones what steps should be taken. Huh. This is the actual steps which we can say in the cognitive walkthrough. Define the inputs to the walkthrough. Uh, convey the analysis. Walk through the actions sequences for each task. Record the critical information and revise the interface to fix the problem. That means what from the user's point of view, you are just uh, uh, you are completely you're testing your uh, system, but only with respect to uh, user interfaces, right? How the user will react if some error will come, whether he is able to understand that error or not. So it's like you are walking through all the actions from the first screen to the last screen or from the first screen, whatever you have the different different options checking if the user click on this option, then where it will go, whether it is understanding from his point of view, whether he is, uh, is it really required to go through that kind of sequences? So you are actually the testing will be done where actually you are walking through all such actions which user will be going through. So your user's mentality, that is what cognitive, no? you are entering into the user's mode, you are in, entering into a user's mental mode and then you are walking through the complete software to to understand whether you how user will react to that and if what kinds of problems will come and how to fix such kind of problems. So that is what this cognitive walkthrough procedure test which we are checking is think aloud evaluation. So now this think aloud evaluation is similar to like uh, where we are asking users to sit uh, in front of i mean we are asking them to do the testing where we are involving the user into the testing okay and then uh, we'll ask users to just check how the it's working so generally in thinking thinking aloud that aloud stands for whatever the user is thinking that think he should loudly say that means whatever he is when he is going through the computer that particular product that particular application whatever the things are coming into his mind let him speak out let him loudly speak out so whatever he is thinking, we will come to know and what is his reaction with respect to each of the uh, system function that we can make out. So that is actually thinking loud stands for. Uh, so here it say in the thinking loud test, uh, you can uh, take the user to use the system, that particular application, use the system while 
continuously thinking out loud that means when whatever it is coming in his mind let him speak it loudly simply verbalizing their thoughts whatever the thoughts it's coming in in his mind no when we will read something when we will see some application or when we will see some uh, serials on the tv or some show on the tv sometimes we will get some kinds of thoughts just instead of keeping in mind what are thoughts should be loudly you should speak out so here also when it comes to the this kind of testing the user will ask to do the testing i mean to use the system not do the testing use the system while whatever it will come in his mind just keep it talking even if it is it should not be just into the mind it should be loudly speaking simply verbalizing their thoughts as they move through the user interface and that all the thoughts which whatever he is doing it will be recorded all those things will be recorded so what we need to do we have to find out some good kinds of users we have to hear first two uh, test which we have seen the heuristic and the cognitive walk through there is not involvement of users but in this remaining four uh, test there will be involvement of users so what we'll do we'll find out the representatives from the user side we'll recruit the users and will ask them will give them a, some uh, task to perform in that particular product and will just keep quiet and will ask users only to do a talk whatever it's coming in his mind while using that particular system just talk it just loudly speak out it so the this method actually has lot of benefits like advantages most important it serves the window on the soul that means uh, let the let letting you to discover what users really think about your design and in particular you hear their misconceptions because sometimes even we are technically correct to represent that particular point in our uh, interface in our design but there can be a chances that user may uh, take it different way right so in that particular when when you will hear their misconception which usually turn into actionable redesign recommendation so when you when users misinterpret the design elements you need to change them either you are talking with the user no no this is the way why we have designed in this way you can tell them there might be you the user is thinking thinking in one point of direction and your point of direction is completely from the design uh, technical way but there may be a, there is there some kinds someone will be might be right so let them let it let them read it loudly whatever it is coming from their mind and you just keep listening what they are saying record the complete session and go through those records again and again to understand what actually the uh, user is thinking about that that is what the testing it's okay so whether you whether you as a designer whether really you need to change anything or uh, uh, some small changes are okay so uh, sometimes even uh, you will learn why users are users guess is going wrong uh, about some parts of ui why they find others easy to use so all those things you can find out so generally this kind of testing is uh, means very easy uh, it's simple kind of test where you are involving only user and you are giving one kind of task or number of kind of task to different uh, some users and you are asking them to just uh, use the system and whatever it's coming in their mind just uh, loudly speak out right and you are recording that session so it's it's it will provide you the insight of the users reasoning it will provides you the insights of the user thinking right uh, what is the disadvantage it may be difficult to get users to think loudly means what many times happens no whatever so many things will come in our mind and it will come in fraction of seconds so everything we cannot loudly speak out right there is also there so uh, human tendency is like that so many things will come in the mind 
the fraction of times so with very small time so many things so it's very difficult for someone to speak out everything loudly right sometimes uh, uh, there can be a possibility of user may not uh, may he may speak but he may um, filter the some of the uh, statements sometimes he may do some biasing uh, while speaking out it can be possible there are some users who are straight forward there are some users who po polish their sentences in the uh, with some kind of biasing so such kind of things are also possible where that can be a, uh, we can say as a drawback guidelines are nothing just develop a several important representative uh, several re important task and give one one task to one one user and ask them to do the, those tasks so tasks which are important particularly which are very much concern and limit the session only up to 60 to 90 minutes so make user to use that system to 60 to 90 minutes not more than that because continuously the even user cannot go through a long time so make uh, accordingly such kind of task okay so this is with respect to think aloud evaluation